Hi everybody, it's Janet from String Theory and uh, we have a special guest today on our um, video and I'm talking to Ann Weaver and we're going to be talking about Applied, um, new yarn that we've got in at String Theory. So Ann, okay. let us, tell us a little bit about how Applied came about. Okay, so um, Applied, which I'm wearing a sample here, we're going to be showing you guys a few more samples. Um, is a new yarn. We launched it late last year, really limited launch, um, that Karita Collins, who's the owner and artist behind Neighborhood Fiber Company and I, uh, launched in, um, in partnership with uh, Harrisville Designs in New Hampshire. So Karita and I took a weaving workshop at Harrisville Designs several years ago. And part of the workshop was a chance to tour the Harrisville Mill. And when we toured the mill, we looked at each other and said, we need to get in on this. Um, when we heard the Harrisville story, we toured the mill. It's a family owned company. They've been making textiles in New Hampshire for hundreds of years. Um, and so it's part of this tradition and keeping alive uh, made in the USA products. So we wanted it. We didn't really know what that would look like or what kind of a yarn we would make. Um, so it was a few years of development and back and forth and um, figuring out if there is a way we could create a new yarn, something unlike other yarns in the market, because there are a lot of hand-dyed yarns, um, and Karita already owns a yarn company, so this needed to be something different. And after a lot of experimentation, work with Harrisville um, to see what was possible, what, what was actually feasible, um, we came out with Plied. So that's the beginning. So it's, it's a brainchild of me and uh, Karita Collins. Um, and we just hired our first employee, who is my sister, who is now working for us part time. So it was all us, all uh, in up the until family. now. All it's in the family. family. <laughs> Yay! So what makes Plied different? Like you said, you wanted to do something different um, than Neighborhood Fiber Company. And so, what, what you know, as a knitter, if I'm knitting with it, how am I going to experience this yarn differently than I would other yarns that are out there? Okay, so that's a really good question, and was something important to us because again, there is a lot of great yarn, yarn already out there. Um, so Harrisville is a woolen spun mill as opposed to worsted spun. So long story short, the difference between woolen spun yarn and worsted spun is that woolen spun is a lot lighter and airier. Uh, it has a more rustic feel to it. Often, um, if you've ever worked with any sort of tweed yarn, um, be that Brooklyn tweed or Cowboy Born Woolen's Lucky Tweed or um, any sort of Shetland yarn, you'll notice that they're very light, they're very lofty, they might feel a little more rustic. So Plied is a woolen spun yarn, which is rare among hand dyers. Um, not unheard of, but rarer than getting um, a worsted spun yarn. So the result is a yarn that's really, uh, here's a close up of one of our colors, is a yarn that blooms a lot when you wash it. So by bloom, I mean the fibers spread out and fill in. So it starts to feel puffier, blooms a lot more than a worsted spun yarn where the plies are much tighter. It feels lighter, it just weighs a lot less. So one important thing if you're a knitter, if you're knitting with plied, is that if you make, let's say, a cable with a lot of, a uh, sweater with a lot of cables, or a tunic, something that just uses a lot of yarn, it's gonna be much lighter. So it's, um, I have a beautiful tunic that I wear a lot and it doesn't sag, it's not heavy, um, it keeps its shape really well because it's so light. So it's great for garments. Uh, it's extremely warm because it is so lofty, there's air between the fibers. So it's very, very warm, it blooms beautifully and it's very light. So those are some of the ways it's different from a worsted spun yarn, which is again, most um, hand dyed yarns. It also is not super wash. So well, woolen spun yarns don't tend to be super wash. Um, I don't know if any are, but it's not super wash. So it has again, a more rustic feel um, than a super wash yarn. I know that um, super wash merino is super soft. So this isn't quite as soft as that, but it is very soft when it's washed. And it has a very different feel that you cannot get from a superwash yarn. And I think people are becoming more interested, on uh, knitters particularly, in uh, how different yarns behave and what uh, you can use them for. So people looking for an alternative to that very smooth sur superwash surface, heavier, tighter twist, um, I think will really enjoy working with this yarn just to get a completely different effect. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Well, I yesterday opened up the box um, and um, picked out this color. This is called the Gateway. And I'm gonna pair it with this yarn, 
which you can sort of see. This is um, Plied, the gateway, and this is Neighborhood Fiber Company Next. And I'm gonna do the- oh, it's Loft, the base is Loft. loft. Sorry. Mohair loft. silk. The color is next. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I'm gonna put these two together in a striped cardigan, which is called Elton by Hohi Locatelli. So I'm very excited about that project. Um, what other, like, what are you wearing? Okay, so <laughs> this is um, Dawn, which is a shawl by Grace Anna Farrow, a stitch to wear. And um, here you can see it's very simple, uh, stockinette stitch stripes. Um, you can see the color gradations that we've gotten using Plied. And this is very light, very lofty, um, really warm and after washing extremely soft. So is that three skeins or four? This is actually five skeins. So you need, uh, let's see, one, oh, sorry, four skeins. Uh, two skeins of one of the colors and one skein, uh, two skeins of two of the colors and one skein of each of the others. So this is a total of a, um, two skeins each, six skein project. Perfect. Yeah. Wow. So we have a lot of, um, a lot of different project ideas, everything from one skein project to a 12 skein tunic. Um, but again, very, really light. Uh, another thing that was important to us when we worked with Harrisville was that the yarn they gave us, uh, the yarn they sourced for us, it's our own blend was able to take really bright dye colors that if you've ever shot Neighborhood Fiber Company, you know that really saturated colors are trademark. And we wanted to have that implied too. That's part of our signature look. So we worked really hard to get a yarn that was strong, soft, and also took could create a color like this. So you'll notice some overlap between some of these colors and Neighborhood Fiber Company colors, but also, some colors like this, which is one ply of very dark brown black and one ply of a sort of greenish gray, which are um, much more my style, um, not quite so neighborhood fiber company. So we also have a more subtle colors um, in that sort of murky off black, which I'm uh, really interested in too. Well, and it's interesting to see too, like these, you can see more of the, that there's two plies because there's definitely the two colors. And then we have this one, um, which is much more subtle. I mean, it's a little more obvious in person than it is showing up on the, <laughs> on the right. camera, um, but much more uh, monochromatic, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. It but, has just a semi-solid look yeah. uh, as opposed to a marled look. So they're all marled. So all of the colors are one ply of one color plied with a second ply. All the colors are hand dyed. So it's two hand dyed plies. So in this case, it's pink plied with red, fuchsia plied with red. Uh, in this case, it's brown, black, and gray, green. So they are all marled yarns, but some, again, are more obviously marls. Others come across looking like semi-solid. But there's just a lot of depth of color from two plies, both dyed in a semi-solid uh, petal dye process. Very cool. Cool. Yeah. So um, we've got all 25 colors. Um, of the new plied yarn at String Theory. So I ho hope you will come out to check that out for us. Um, and we've got this weekend, we've got samples. So um, with Anne here, she's gonna be here this whole weekend and she's brought a ton of samples. So um, you get a chance to see how it knits up and how the different colors knit up and, um, and pick your favorite projects. Yeah, so. we'll have a lot of suggestions to um, everything from mittens to sweaters to shawls both the samples we have and also just recommendations based on um, what what Karita, um, what I've been knitting, what our sample knitters have been knitting, um, just to give you a good sense of um, how it works up and what it's really good for. Cool. Well, we hope you'll stop by this weekend and see us. And if not, we are going to have the yarn passed this weekend. So please come out and see it. And um, you're, you're going to fall in love. You're just, you're, there's a project for you. We have so many to choose from and you're really going to find something that I'm sure you'll love and you'll love to work on. So see you soon. Yay.